Hey guys, so we just arrived in Yamagata not too long ago and we've come here by car to our very first destination which is a strawberry picking farm. It is currently 9am and it is minus one degrees outside. I'm pretty excited actually, I'm just starting off the day slow um, but soon we're gonna go to more and more places that I'm looking forward to showing you around. shooting right now. Uh, the sun kind of went away so we're just waiting for that to come back out so we can get some more drone shots. So I'm going to quickly grab another video here to show you how beautiful the snow is. This is actually my very first time experiencing this much snow. I've seen a little bit falling here and there but like never this piled up so it's such an amazing view. It's beautiful. We just arrived at our second location which was an hour and a half from the strawberry farm and we'll be visiting an aquarium. Not only will we be seeing marine life, we're also going to try fugu. Fugu is a Japanese delicacy, it's also the riskiest food in the world. So I'm going to be trying that today for the first time. So I'm nervous but excited but I definitely want to document it all so you guys get to experience that with me. So we are back at the hotel, it is 8pm and we checked in about one hour ago, one and a half hours ago and had a very quick dinner before coming back to our hotel room to rest up for tomorrow. Today was not that intense, we only did two things, the strawberry picking and the aquarium. Uh, the fugu was also kind of part of the aquarium as well, um, but even though it was only two activities, we were so exhausted. We started very early in the morning, especially myself. I think I got up at about 3 a.m. So even though it's only 8.30, I am so tired and I'm so ready to pass out. Tomorrow is also a pretty early morning call. I've got to get up at about uh, 5 a.m., maybe 6 a.m. And I should probably get some rest and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning guys, it is 7am and it is snowing outside. Today we have two things on our schedule, we've got snow walking and we've got sake tasting and I've never done either of those so I'm pretty excited and thankfully it's not super intense. I did manage to get quite a bit of sleep last night so I'm feeling pretty well rested um, and I've got to go and meet my crew downstairs in about two minutes so I'm gonna go and I'll take you guys along. We're just taking a break from the skiing. The sun never came out, 
and we need the centre film so we decided to come to the sake bar which is only 5 minutes away so hopefully I don't get too drunk <laughs> It is about 5pm and we cut the day a little bit short because unfortunately the sun never really came out so we thought hmm maybe if we go to the sake bar it'll come out a bit later but even after we finished filming at the sake bar we noticed that it was probably not going to come out for the rest of the day and we were right so we ended up cutting it short and heading back to the hotel and we're going to try again tomorrow uh, early in the morning so that means I get a little bit more time to sleep and record my auditions and do my emails and all that so for me that works out I guess but it's really unfortunate for the crew because they really put so much effort into this and they tried really really hard to get this all organized but all of that can just go down the drain sometimes when the weather is just not good so I'm gonna wrap it up here and we're gonna try again tomorrow so good night <laughs> and it's minus 10 degrees I think and I could barely vlog outside because to vlog I need my oh my god I'm tearing it's so cold to vlog I need my hands and I had to keep my gloves on so I couldn't really do that but yeah it's freezing <laughs> we're back in the cafeteria we're gonna get warmed up uh, my hair is literally still kind of a bit icy but I'm gonna warm up and maybe get another hot chocolate or something <laughs> at Ginzan Onsen. If you followed me last year on my stories, I actually came here once before in summer. So now that we're here in winter, which is the most popular time to go, um, not only because it's super beautiful and snowy, but it looks very much like the Spirited Away film, um, but I'm just here on standby while my staff are location scouting. So for now, I'm just 
waiting until we have to start shooting. into the hotel and it was about an hour and a half drive from the Kinsan Onsen and I thought I'd give you a very quick room tour before I make a mess of it and honestly there's not that much to show you because it's only one room but here it is. So as I said there is not that much to show this is being taken from the entrance and here is the room it's just one very large bed and a little desk for your makeup and everything and a bathroom so it's super small, but it's more than enough for me as long as it's clean and I can get some rest. It is 11.30 and I've just gotten into bed. I am freshly showered, I am freshly moisturized and I feel so good and I'm ready to pass out. So I'm going to wrap it up here for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys, it is 8.15 and I'm currently doing my makeup, getting ready to go to the first location which is the Casadori Festival, also known as the Strawbird Festival. I heard it's kind of unique and a little bit bizarre so it's much easier to show you than to explain what it's going to be like so I'm going to finish my makeup and then we'll get going. arrived at Kaminoyama Castle as you can see it's just above me and this is where the festival is going to be held but apparently today's version is actually a really short one it's only going to be a 10 minute version because of corona so I'm going to show you what I can but I will be filming for the job so let's see what I can get and it's pretty exciting there's a lot of people here so it's bound to be good <laughs> for locations for the next spot so for now I have quite a bit of free time and I thought I'd use that as an opportunity to properly update you guys which I have not really had a good chance to do so far and um, so far this trip has been quite tiring but extremely rewarding and I visited so many beautiful places and without this job I wouldn't be experiencing any of this let alone even be able to share this with you so it's been really wonderful and I'm very lucky to have staff that have been recording videos and taking pictures for me which has actually been very challenging for me uh, since I'm on the job and I haven't really been able to do that because I'm being filmed myself. I currently have quite a lot of free time as you can see I'm in this very beautiful yukon but I 
I'm not staying here, we're just here for filming purposes, but um, I thought while I'm here, why don't I show you around? <laughs> okay, so from the Genkan to our left, we have the sink and the toilet, and here is the main room. So there's not that much in it, it's very minimal, but it's very spacious, very cute Japanese room. And let me show you the view, because the view is unbeatable. Look at that. Imagine waking up to this every single morning. That would be such a dream. I just got a call from Mars, one of my cameramen, and everyone is apparently waiting downstairs because we've got about a two hour wait time. So everyone's just chilling down there, having a drink. So I think I might do the same. I'm still wearing my wet swimsuit underneath this from the onsen scene. So it's kind of soaking through. Um, I should probably get changed and maybe I'll head down and join them.